to do this. This isn't you, Mike. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. We don't have to give him what he wants, Michael. No! I love you. Good, good. Well done. You've earned your reward. Speeding time. That was a battle a long time in the making. Could have gone better. What a shame. And you worked so hard to earn that meal. Seems the sacrifice you made was all for nothing. I can sympathize. It wasn't your fault. You had no choice. Runya, bring me the girl. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe next week I'll put you up against one of my other champions. Until then. What was it this time, a hun? Was it a bear? Maybe a raccoon? A dog? A rabbit. A rabbit? Oh, well, God forbid there's one less rabbit in the world. Why the morbidity, darling? Morbid sales, baby. It pays for those glasses on top of your head. You know, there's this thing called the internet, which would be so much cheaper than a 300-mile road trip. You know more than anybody. You gotta come to these places. You gotta, you gotta see these people. You gotta hear their stories. You gotta get a feel for them, right? Besides, who else gets to write off a road trip on their taxes? Carnies, roadies, truckers, gypsies. Gypsies don't pay taxes, baby. You know, I just, uh, I don't know what the problem was with those superhero books. You hated that superhero comic. I didn't hate it. No, you literally said, I hate this comic. Superman is a superhero. Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, these are superheroes. Trigger Happy, a teenage school shooting survivor who becomes a shotgun-toting vigilante, that is not a superhero. Trigger Happy, is a superhero, he kills bad guys. Trigger Happy plays dead. He makes people dead. He was playing dead because he was trying to survive. All superheroes have to hide. Headshot master. Right? You got your back cave, your fortress of solitude, it's where Superman hangs out, or he puts his glasses on, he's Clark Kent. That's hiding. All superheroes hide. Oh, I don't know how people used to bang in the back of these things. There's like no room, it's like very uncomfortable. Why do you think it only happened in the 70s? Ah! Yeah. Um, yeah. Will you help me with this? What do you think? You're making me kind of hungry. I need a title. I need something with some teeth. 
something to some... Which one is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the, the feral kids that live in the sinkholes. Right, the cannibals that live in the sinkholes. Right. And then, uh, uh, correct me if I have this wrong. Okay, they feast on campers? Standard. And not to mention kidnapping and raping beautiful young women to continue the bloodline. I mean, we have to do that. Since you're already completely ripping off the hills have eyes anyway, you might as well. Hey, you know, as you call it, the ground has holes. That's kind of sexy. Dude, <laughs> your fucking head has holes. Hey, hey, guys, guys. Freedom. There's Freedom Florida. 30 years ago, Methane deposits came here and they opened up these great, they created these giant sinkholes all over the place, right? The government had to come in here and they had to forcibly shut this entire town down. Witnesses would say there were these feral cannibals that would come up out of the sinkholes and they chase people and they eat people and hey, you, you know, keep these it up, you're gonna be really missing out there with them. We come down here asking them about this bullshit urban legend, which actually happened yeah, and like, is based uh, in this town. Excuse me, man. Man. Of fame. This town's their claim to fame. I know, I met this guy online. Oh, you right. met a guy online? I met a guy online. Is he nice? Oh, is this really have a brother? He said that he swore he saw a feral kid running around out there. He saw the rocks at people from bushes on the side of the road if you drove too close to him. Yeah. Bro, that's definitely just some kid in his mom's basement messing with me. Even if he was messing with me, it makes for a cool story, man. All right, when are you going to get a fucking job? Why don't you just propose to your fiance? Yeah, Beth. Why don't you? No! What the f Okay. about it now. Come on, let's go, Beck. We'll find the kid. We'll get the windshield fixed. If it was a kid, what is this dad gonna have a, a, a windshield for me? I don't know, if find the kid's dad, then... I don't know, maybe he'll buy his lunch or something. What do you care? I, I bought your lunch for you anyway. Just get in the goddamn car, Beck. Some menus or something? Agnes! Yeah, yeah, Stu. Keep your pants Hi. on. Hey! Hi there. <laughs> well, here you go. Here you go. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Stu here is a real gourmet when it comes to frying. Best burgers in town. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any vegetarian dishes? I could throw a little bird seed on the ground, let you peck at it. Sorry. <laughs> be nice He's an idiot. I'm sorry. So, uh... <laughs> We spoke on the phone last week about your uh, local legend. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Every few months, someone comes this way wanting to know all that hogwash about cannibals, sinkers, Living in the sinkholes. Yeah, well, I want to use the myth as a basis for my graphic novel. Who? Agnes, reload. Excuse me. I'll be with you in a sec. 
Oh, hey, Derry. Hi. Your bra is showing. An extra dollar, you can get whatever you want to put on a stick. That includes eight chicken tenders. And a tennis shot. Tennis <laughs> shot. <laughs> so how long is this going to take? Just hear what she has to say. Besides, I want to find out about who fucking broke my windshield. Hey, I'm thinking this might be more of like a bag of chips and a Coke kind of place. Yeah. yeah. Have you decided on anything yet? Actually, uh, I was just thinking about maybe a couple bags of Doritos and uh, some Cokes. That's it? Yeah, that'll be fine, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry we can't be of more help to you. You know, we picked up this place back in 94. It's been fairly quiet around here since then. Except for those wrestler kids. Remember that, Stu? Uh-huh. What happened to the wrestler kids? Oh, four wrestlers from Pucketville. Came through here snooping around. Snooping around. Disappeared. Townsfolk actually claiming they were eaten by feral children. Even the FBI got involved. Never found a trace. You know, you can get swallowed up by the ground out there. That part of the legend is true. <laughs> hmm. You know, I tried telling you on the phone not to come out this way. There was no reason for it. If I were you, I'd drive back before you become part of the story. <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, did you get anything you need? Can we go? Um, actually, um, do you know if there's any kids left in the town? Because somebody threw a rock at my windshield, and I'd really like to talk to his parents. This here is a ghost town, dearie. Stu and I live in a trailer out back, and as for old Ezra in here, well, he's the site manager, or the town mayor, as we like to call it. Ain't that right, Ezra? Uh, sir, is there any information that you can give us about these sinkers? If you are the town mayor or manager or whatever, I mean, you must know something, right? You go take a drive through town, see if you sell. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. Beck, it sounds kind of dangerous. Stay on the asphalt, you'll be OK. Don't go in any houses and stay the hell away from that high school. OK. Um, well, thank you so much for your hospitality. Sure. Yeah. Uh, how much do I owe you? 250 $2 OK, well, here's three. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, thank you. Let's go. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. You don't seriously want to go driving around out here, do you? Actually, I was kind of hoping that you would drive. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you should be careful with that this? thing. Thank you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Help me with this, huh? Please, get back to civilization. You can't tell me you don't want to go see a real urban legend. That's an oxymoron. Yes, it is. I'll leave that there. OK. Are you the trunk, baby? Give me. Get fucking shot. Let him take his pictures. <laughs> Look, I know. I know things have been a little difficult lately. Right? Yeah. There's something out there for me. I know this. Okay? I just feel this. Well, you know, you did write your entire Infinity series in our one-bedroom apartment, and you didn't have to go to Mars to have some mind-bending personal experience. Honey, if I could have gone to Mars, we would have gone to Mars. Right, but you still run it. Come on, dude! It's a troll! We need the money. <laughs> we do. Besides, you can't tell me you're not the least bit interested in this. I am, but it's just not really the right time. Okay, look. We'll drive slow. Okay, take some photos, and then we're gonna go to Miami. And we're gonna have an awesome time in Miami. I'm gonna go to my presentation, and I'm gonna present this stuff to the publishers, and I'm gonna be able to write a graphic novel, maybe sell a movie. And who knows, we can, we can get a house, you know? We can even get married. <laughs> Did you just bribe me with marriage? It's only a bribe if you accept it, <laughs> so. And I can't accept it unless you sell the movie rights to a comic book you haven't written yet. Just give me an hour. Can we do it in like a half hour? I'm still really hungry. Y'all can bang later. <laughs> Fine. One hour, and we're not getting out of the car. Will you get in the back? Come on. I hate 
hate this car so much. Oh, stop oh my god, here we go. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna get a lot of bugs in our teeth. Yeah, we are. Freedom! Freedom! The brights don't even work. I told Jiminy to fix that. He's just been slacking on his. Big surprise. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Wow. You could make it's a really killing as something. a painter out here. I've never been anywhere like this before. I don't think anybody's ever been anywhere like this before. It seems like such a waste. You know, like why didn't you? Do I don't know, put homeless people out here, like sex offenders or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, sinkholes and methane poisoning probably has something to do with this. this goes. What do you think? This town's only like 1,200 people that used to live here, so I don't think it's that big. It seems so tiny. Yeah, I gotta pee. Can we pull over? Come on, man, not now. No. What do you mean, not now? I gotta go. Well, we just left. I don't want to pull yeah, over Yeah, but here. I didn't go Can there. just leave the they town? They just said we just have to get out stop, of the car. Man. Stop, Come on, what are you Whoa. doing? Jim, hey, stop. Jiminy. Jiminy. Would you? Hey, oi! Brother. This place is wide open. You're not supposed to go in the house, Jiminy. Look at this. Hello? You're not supposed to go in the house. God, the house is creepy as shit. We just had a conversation at the diner about this. I know. I think he's adopted. Beck. What? Come look at this shit, man. This is crazy. Dude, get in the car. Um, you don't want to miss this. Go in and get him. Will you come with me? No, I will not come with you. Why not? Because I don't want to go in there. Well, I don't want to leave you out of here. This place I'll is... be fine. It'll be five minutes. Be quick. Just okay. be quick. All right. Jiminy? Jiminy! I saw someone out there. Was it a sinker? You are so sexy when you scare at me. You know that? <laughs> Come here. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. It's just kind of freaky. What? The plumbing doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Except the stinker I just dropped. Can we stop using the word sinker, please? I think he's stinker. I think you said stinker. It's stinker, stinker, stinker. stinker. It's a floater. Gross. It was a stinky sinker. Oh, right. Is that the car? Car in a ghost town. You left the keys in the car. I, I, I told you not to go in the house, and I told you there was this somebody is my out fault. here. You left the keys in the car, and this is my fault. Yes, it's your you fault. You left the keys in the car. You left me alone in the car. So why would Fuck. you leave the keys because in the car? Because I was scared, and I didn't think about so it. This is a great fucking you. idea for a comic book. Beck, we don't want to hear about the comic book. I don't great. care no about that right now. It's a fucking joke, yeah. Candace. I don't have any signal. Do you have bars? No. All right, let's just start walking. Walk. We've been driving for miles. You've been sitting We're not on walking. your ass for miles. Miles. Stop. Leave her alone. Cramped up in the tiny back seat. Let's Come on, go. Both of you, stop. What do you want to do? Just sit here, start a fire, make a campsite. Let's go. We have to walk. We don't have another option. What are you doing? Stop. Leave her alone. Oh fuck, my. She's been giving me shit since I went to the show. I'm gonna come on the road trip. Now she's blaming me for this. Just tell her to get up and let's go walk back to the diner. Will you just go to the diner for me? What, alone? 
It's like six fucking miles. Come on, use your track That's and field bullshit. skills. Come what, on. You're just gonna sit. I do shit for you all the time. I do shit for you all the time. You do one thing for me. That's what this is. That I. Well, it's never... not about you and <laughs> your I'm fucking so insecurity useless. issues, man. Because you just Guys, do everything come for on. me. Oh, thank you, Jiminy. Hurry back, please. I think you'd have better luck with smoke signals. Candace, I'm sorry. At least talk to me. You're killing me. I don't think there's really anything to say. You know, one day we, we're gonna laugh about this. We're gonna be driving along, telling our kids a story about the time we got trapped in a ghost town and carjacked by Chud. I feel like we should walk. You want to? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to go get a signal one more time. And we'll head back to the diner. Yeah, um, hi, my name is, uh, it's Beck Davis, and my car has been stolen. I'm in Freedom, Florida. What is the nearest Yeah, it's 50 miles outside of Puckettville. What is the you're calling uh, my number is 813-305. Sir? Hello? Hello? Sir, I need to name an emergency. My name is Beck Davis. Sir? Yeah, they, okay, hey, I can hear you. I, all right, my, my car has been stolen. I'm outside of Freedom. Number is 8813305466. Hello? It's 813305. Hey Beck, I saw the car! Hang on. Hi, hello, I just I just lost it. Beck, our car's out front! My car has been stolen. I I'm in freedom. Is there a number I can call you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My number is it's it's three oh it's eight one three three oh five. Sir, you still with me? Hello? Uh never mind, never mind. I I just found the car, never mind. Candace! Candace! Candace, hey, I think I think Jiminy found the car. Candace? Fuck, where you at? Candace? Hey, you! Motherfucker! 
This is the principal speaking. The word of the day is inanition, noun. The exhausted condition that results from lack of food and water. Who are you? Where are we? Dennis? Dennis? I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our new students to orientation. Why are you doing this to us? Please don't interrupt the principal when he's speaking. Dennis? Have you ever thought about what people are capable of if pushed to the brink of death? I have a theory. If I starve a man long enough, he'd be willing to do anything to save his own skin. Maybe even kill you for nothing more than a sandwich. It's a horrible position for someone to find themselves in. It's even worse. If it's the life of someone you love, that's at stake. Motherfucker! Girls going home! Now, the instructive lady here, great with child, got special plans for you. I'm sure you'll embrace the school spirit and be full of Viking pride before we know it.
said that Runyon doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> that was a cruel practical joke. Allow me to make it up to you by offering you the opportunity to enjoy a balanced breakfast. Wouldn't you like that? Tender feelings, release me from my fears. Help me to beat my weakness to death. Hey, I don't want to know anything about you. What do you mean you don't want to know anything about me? Where the fuck are we? He wants us to kill, then eat, and he starves us again, then kill, then eat, then kill. What do you mean he wants us to kill? I killed four, maybe six. My wife was on the same. This is the principal here to remind you that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Ring the bell, dickhead! What if I refuse to fight? Fuck you! Refuse? Fair enough. This one time only, I'm willing to allow a substitution. Think your woman will put up a better fight than you? You motherfucker, don't! Runyon, return this foul-mouthed coward to his chambers and fetch me the gold. No! 
for the newcomer. Congratulations. Hope you got a hankering for bacon and eggs. Get it while it's hot. It's the last you'll be getting for a while. Have it your way. Runyon, take the food. No, no, no. I'll, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. of food. Don't you know there are starving children in South Dakota? Look on the bright side in case you get your appetite back. Finger food.
want you to eat that bug. That's nasty. Here, take this. I found this. I'm bringing it to my daddy. He's gonna save everybody. I'll be back to get you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. There's only one monitor. Lots of cameras, one monitor. Tell Beck. Be careful, he's watching him right now. Okay. I got this. Hey, what the- One monitor. Lots of cameras. One monitor. I think it's time for a Donner party. Oh, shit. I call him Donner. If you know your history, then you can guess why. And what food he has come to develop a preference for. Nora. Nora. Nora, you were doing so well here, and yet here you are attempting to cut class. Truancy is not tolerated at Freedom High, and is punishable by suspension, expulsion, or execution. There's no food to be won from this fight, at least not for you. You win, you live, you won't. Allow me to introduce you to my, for lack of better description, reigning champion. Hi, do something. The word of the day is gourmandize. Transitive verb. Means to eat gluttonously or ravenously. Uh, uh. Man, you're almost there. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Defeated, no surprise. Runyon, it's time for this afternoon's main event. Oh shit. Oh, 
See you again. Have you been fed? You? Not really. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for bringing us here. This is only my fault. It's not your fault. This is my fault. It's not your fault. It's no, the it's principal's not my fault. fault. Where the fuck he is? There must be a dozen people caged up in this hell house. He is filming us kill each other for food. We're gonna die, aren't we? No. No, 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 you cannot. You can't think like that, okay? Look, you can't think like that, okay? Junie's, he's probably got the National Guard roaming the streets looking for us. All right. I promise we're gonna make it out of this, okay? We're gonna make it out of this. Oh, God. You must be nice, you know what? You 
promised me food. Give me stop. my food. Stop, He's stop. got Marissa, it. Marissa, just stop. Uh. Let me handle this. Can I? Can I take it to her? Can I? Let me do it. Just let me give it to her, okay? Come on, let me give it to her, lady. Yeah? What are you doing? You ate that whole thing? You ate my food? Yes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so hungry. Beck, I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. I'm pregnant. Time to go. Your dinner is waiting, Ronyan. Can we get her some more food, please? Please, she, just one more piece. Just gotta be more. Just, can she have some more food, please? Please, Ronyan. Ronyan. That's your name, right? Mm. Bring me some food. I'll do anything. Please. Mm. Mm. I'll do anything you want. You're right. You will do anything. That's how desperation works. There is no blame. Now, Ronyan, it's dinner time. Just walk away. Please! Wait, Ronyan, please! Come back! Don't leave! Don't leave! Okay. What kind of person does that? Oh, you're insane, baby. Stop. I don't mean them. I mean you. Last week, you're ready to marry me. Now you let me starve. Stop it! Stop! Ah, yes. Just stop. Ah. I can't resist anymore. Like, what do you want me to do? I'll do anything, okay? I'll do ah. You want me to stick my fingers down my throat? What do you, what do you want me to do, huh? You want me to put my fingers down my throat? You do that for me. Dead folk. Starting smell around here. Exception of that couple, it's been a while since anyone stuck their nose in where it don't belong. The cages I made weren't built to sit empty, you know?
The usual? Yep. Gonna need it to go order as well. You got it. Stew. Burgers. I'm looking for some missing persons. You, you seen these people? Oh, dear. Take it that's an affirmative? About a month ago. Uh, came through on research or something. Kept asking about the sinkers. Sinkers? Oh, feral townsfolk living in the sinkholes out there. A lot of urban legend hooey. You know, last time I saw them, they were mulling over whether to go sightseeing into town. <laughs> Not that there's much sights to see. I saw them. Call them stealing from one of the houses. Not gonna lie to you. Pulled a gun on them, told them if I ever saw them again, I'd blow their heads off. Last I saw, they were hightailing out of town, driving like maniacs. You never told me any of this. Wasn't worth mentioning. And who are you? Just call me Ezrin. I'm a site manager. Mayor. Is that a joke? You know about freedom. The sinkholes, the mercury, the mining. The whole damn town being evacuated back in 81. I'm aware of what happened here. Now, the county pays me to keep people off the property, to avoid losses and such. Officially, I'm the site manager. Unofficially, the mayor. Then you're the right man to take me to have a look around. I told you there's nobody allowed on the property. Well, the property is the last place anybody saw who I was looking for. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist. No. Look, I'm not going to eat up a bunch of your time. But if I'm forced to involve the police department, pull a warrant, it's going to be a lot more inconvenient for everybody involved. So what do you say? Suit yourself. Here you go. Put it on my tab. This is the house I call them looting. What's the name of the street? No use for a name. What were they driving? Just didn't get a clean look. Where do you live? Around. It's gonna take much longer. That school we passed a few blocks back, I'd like to check that out. Bad idea. Why? Not safe. Which is exactly why I want to make sure they didn't end up there. You've been looking at me like that. About ten minutes. And you didn't wake me? Are you happy to be awake? Mm -hmm. Will you bring us food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he's been through as much as we have. Can you speak? Can you 
bring us food. Well, that went well. in advance for the mess. I really wasn't expecting any company, you know? Jesus, sinkholes definitely aren't urban legend. This is the showers. Please. The principal said I get a chance to eat this week. I'll do whatever you want. I know you will, Norman. To be more concerned about what I'm gonna do to you.
We're getting out of here tonight. What is this place? I don't know what you're up to, but you're not gonna... Have you ever thought about what people are capable of if pushed to the brink of death? Starvation. What did you want? In the beginning, you're just ripe with hunger. Then the body begins eating itself. First the fat, then the muscles. Emaciation, lack of proteins, minerals. Disease begins to set in. The worst is what it does to your body, your mind, your will, your spirit. But it makes for great entertainment. <laughs> Just so there's no confusion, this is a fight to the death. This man is already half dead. Then it should be easy for you. <laughs> this poor wretched victim of society just to save your own skin if not he's gonna feast upon your grave at the bell one don't i'm sorry i'm so sorry two sick bastard don't come at me again
You were throwing up on yourself, so I turned you over. Jiminy? Man, I didn't know if you were alive or dead. Both. You don't think like that, Jiminy. You put that out of your mind. I was so hungry. You don't want to. It hurts. Cain and Abel. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to this matchup. What's wrong with you? I've been meaning to ask you, who names their kid Jiminy? Like the talking cricket? What a stupid name. You don't have to do this. You know, in the original story of Pinocchio, not that Disney crap, the original story. Shut the fuck up. Pinocchio killed the cricket, took a hammer to Jiminy and squashed him. Shut the fuck up! You willing to do that back, squash Jiminy, your own brother? It's just, it's just the two of us. We're gonna make it. Oh I killed him. I put my hands around his arm and I fucking killed him. I felt his throat crush. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I killed him. The word of the day is fratricide. Noun. The act of a person killing his or her own brother. Oh, she's like... Ah! Listen to him. What did you kill? I heard you! You were begging for forgiveness like a fucking child! Who was it you killed, huh? Is it your wife? Let me guess, it's not your fault! You think killing us is gonna make What about you? Your son. You killed his mom. <laughs> Is it your fault? Huh? You really have no idea what you're talking about, do you? If you can survive your brother, you'll be one step closer to knowing. Too many don't. Come on, Tim. Come on. Come on. Give me the gun. Come on. Give him the gun already, your onion. I want to find out if blood is thicker than hunger. Only one bullet. Don't get any crazy ideas about shooting your way out of here. I bet you could kill for a steak about now. Or are you gonna be the contents of your namesake? I'm not gonna kill you, Jiminy. Put the fucking gun down to Jiminy. I love you. Put the fucking gun down. We're brothers, Jiminy. I love you. I love you. We're supposed to take care of each other. You've always been such a good brother to me. You took care of me. It's my turn to take care of you. Jiminy, come on. Just put the gun down. No! What drama? Though I don't think you're in the right to eat since you didn't actually kill your brother. Got an, an idea, idea for your funny, funny book. book. It's about, it's about three, three people, people that nose around someplace they shouldn't have. One of which, a writer looking for a scary story. I'm gonna fucking kill But he becomes a horror star instead. And his wife, barefoot and pregnant.
Exception. So I can make you boy. Watch me fuck his woman. I hope you like it rough. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Kill me? You on about that again? Okay, okay. 
おいしい、うん、A man and his wife and son live in town called Freedom once thriving but no more declared a disaster area the government seizes the land and it becomes a forgotten footnote this family their car gets swallowed up in one of these sinkholes no one knows they're down there no one around to look for them no food A jug of water for the motor that kept overheating. Only thing keeping them alive. To eat. Or die. Many scientists will tell you death from starvation is really not that painful. The worst is what it does to your body, your mind, your will, your spirit. Find out just what kind of person you are when your physical self wastes away what you're capable of. Like killing your own son and eating him to keep yourself alive a few more days in hopes the rest of you would come. What does that have to do with us? Someone finally found me. Know how we repaid him? We killed him. There's no going back to polite society after that. And my wife, when we were down in that hole, some of that methane leaked in. Had a very unpleasant effect on my girl. Why she stays covered up. Society left us to waste away and die. In a place it also left to waste away. Freedom is ours now. So when the good folks as yourselves come nosing around, we got this little game we like to play, give you a little taste of what we went through. <laughs> It's all right, darling. He forced you. He forced you to murder your own son. Shut your mouth, pig! Give him one bullet. One bullet. Starved to death. Or you can kill your wife and have it at dinner. Now, if you'll excuse me, got a roll. Mm. Give me the gun. Wait a second, let's just think this through. Hey, give me the gun, let's end this! Don't go getting all trigger happy on me. In case food isn't enough, how about oxygen? When the room fills with gas, you'll both be dead. Better act quick. Shoot him, and you'll get that steak waiting for you. Stop telling me what to do. Just give me the gun. I don't want to Just give me the gun. No. Just give me the gun, or I'm going to take it out of your hands, okay? Let me decide. Give me the gun. This situation is under my control for once. My decision. Do it. Shut up. Candace. Don't, Candace. I love you, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't do this. I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, but I must say I am surprised. It was meant to be this way. Only the strong survive. It's nature's way. Brunyan, bring me the girl. We got unfinished business. No. No. Please, no! I told you I was gonna kill you.
Okay. He's probably watching us right now. Okay. But we gotta split up. Okay, we gotta keep him on his toes. You go find an exit. I'm gonna put an end to this before he kills anybody else. food. That fire in your belly wants to be reunited with your beloved. Today is dilemma. Fuck you in your dictionary. You okay? Uh, so, uh, what kind of superhero plays dead? Trigger, Trigger happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I want my fucking car. Baby, I 
I know this isn't the most appropriate time, but uh, open up that glove box. Open it. Oh, Beck, it's beautiful. I get shut back Hold on to your anger You're gonna push too hard I've been looking for a cure little girl One that you lack Hold on to your madness You're gonna push too hard I've been playing every single night For every wrong of your day You can beat an old dog so much Before he runs away I've been playing every single night For every wrong of your day You can beat an old dog so much I get shot back Hold on to your anger You're gonna push too hard I've been looking for a cure, little girl One that you lack Hold on to your madness You're gonna push too hard Well, hell, hell, I'm paying every single night Forever wrong your day You can beat an old dog so much Before he runs away I'm paying every single night now Forever wrong your day You can beat an old dog so much Screw up sooner or later. Shit! We're closed for the evening. We're not looking for food, ma'am. Ma'am, we have a couple of questions we'd like to ask you. Back up. Back up. Okay, okay. Oh, shit! You a sight for sore eyes, dearie. You hungry? 